Hi, this is Gareth Kentish and this video is about setting up your own online shop. Now the benefits of having your own shop is that you create yet another revenue stream to your online business and of course you avoid paying commission fees to the likes of eBay and Amazon and at the same time you still continue to build that subscriber list. Now there are many options open to you when you consider developing your own online shop and on the screen in front of you you see a perfect example of how I've applied a product called Coffee Cup to create my online shop for my main eTailBar.com website and you'll notice also that there are a number of techniques shown on this screen here which are expressed in both the auction money generator and list money generator programs for example the affiliated links and the advertising and also setting up the members sites here and so when you're considering to develop your own online shop you do have numerous choices and as this course has focused on familiarizing yourself with WordPress well it makes good sense to see what's out there in the WordPress environment for installing a shop when I'm looking for an application is I do some research and what better way than check the internet to find some of the leading e-commerce products in the for the WordPress environment and I've done that by just checking here and you can see I've got now some informative unbiased feedback on the number of the top e-commerce shops available for WordPress and the one I'm particularly interested in is the third one here WP e-commerce it's highly functional and it's free and extremely easy to use and I'll show you what I mean because I've actually installed this on my own personal blog you'll see what I mean in a sec I'll just click on my personal blog here and you can see here that I'm using the flexibility theme and I've now installed the shop here using the same theme and I've now got the pages the product page checkout and etc 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 all built into that WordPress environment and now this took me less than half a day to install and that's how easy it can be to install a shop onto your WordPress environment and that's where we're going to go next I'm going to show you how it was done and then how to configure the shop so you can create that extra revenue stream so if you've decided to install your shop on your personal or product website it's important that when you do that the shop doesn't compromise the pages that you've already created within that WordPress environment now a way around this is to actually install another instance of WordPress but in a subfolder under that domain name so in this example you can see that my domain name is garethkentish.com I'm just highlighting it in blue there and I've actually installed the shop under a subfolder called shop surprisingly and you can see the domain name shown there now what we need to do then is to install WordPress again and I'm going to now show you how that's done from accessing the cPanel application from within my hosting account so let's do that okay so I'm now in my cPanel account here and I'm going to access one of two programs that will enable me to install WordPress onto a subfolder so I've got a choice of using Fantastico Deluxe or Softer Qlos and in this example I'm going to click on Softer Qlos and you can see there the first option available to me is to load WordPress so I'm going to click on that icon here click install I'm now going to find my domain name and in this example it's garethkentish.com so let's find that there it is Gareth Kentish I'm going to create the folder shop here I'm cut, don't worry about the database name and the data the table prefix that's fine I'll create my site name as Gareth's shop self-explanatory I guess site description again it's Gareth's shop don't click on the enable multi-site type in your username here and password and your contact email here 
and ensure that you type in a destination email in because WordPress will send you the details of your user ID and admin password when the WordPress environment has been installed. And all I now need to do is to click the install button. I'll then have an email sent to the address that I put into this box here and you're then able to log in as an administrator ready to firstly download the theme and in my case it's flexibility 3 and then we'll look at installing the e-commerce plugin okay so I'm now in the dashboard of my newly created WordPress site and I now need to install the flexibility theme which is consistent to the one that I use for my personal blog so I maintain that look and feel when the shop is finally installed and all I need to do is to go to my themes section here and install my theme here upload and I will have had the flexibility theme zip file uploaded previously and all I need to do is access that file from my downloads file which I just need to type in flexibility here and you can see I've got a choice I'm going to select that one open that up and then the process is very straightforward previous videos have shown how to install this theme I'm not going to go through that process right now and you just click the install button and away you go okay I'm now back in the dashboard of my newly created website which is the subfolder under my main domain name of garethkentish.com and you can see the address there garethkentish.com forward slash shop and I've downloaded the flexibility 3 theme which is consistent with the main site now just a point of caution run through the configuration of flexibility 3 in both the environments and just make sure that the parameters that you've put into the options theme here are consistent with the main site so just run through the tabs along here and just put in the same parameters now one thing you might do is to hide the sidebars and the top features which is what I've done for my shop now once you've done that we're ready then to upload the e-commerce plugin now to find the e-commerce plugin just click on the wordpress.org environment and you'll see here that I've put the address of the WP e-commerce plugin download screen here you can see that it's highlighted in blue so if you do type that into your address bar on your browser then you'll find a screen very similar to what you see here and to download this plugin just click the download version button here and that will then uh, download a zip file into your download folder ready for you then to install through the plugin option in the admin area so let's do that okay I'm now back in the dashboard area as an administrator within my WordPress shop environment and I'm going to add this shop plugin by just clicking on the add new button that you see here and again this process is the same as adding in a theme I'm just going to click on upload I'm then going to find this product this plugin choose file it should be in my downloads folder I remember it was called WP something there it is here click on that click open and then again exactly the same process if I click the install button it will now load that plugin into my WordPress environment it's as easy as that so let's just click on install now click okay well that took a few seconds so all I now need to do is to click the activate button and that will then add a number of features on the left hand side uh, panel here and you can see now that I've got products shown here and also in the settings I will have a new feature called store and we'll go and click on store to start configuring the shop for this WordPress environment okay so I've now clicked on the store button and you can see there that you get presented with a menu with the tabs running along the top here and this is where you configure the shop for your own personal preference and it really is self-explanatory and once you're comfortable with each of those tabs and the configurations that you've set just click on the save changes button which you'll probably find at the bottom of each screen so I'll just quickly show you some of the screens 
here presentation for example very very easy indeed admin taxes and the one that I will just draw your attention to is the shipping tab now when you're configuring your shop initially you will find under the internal shipping calculators three options flat rate table rate and weight rate so I'll show you what I mean that's what you'll see something like this I'm just highlighting it there now what you'll need to do is to click on the simple shipping tab which will then allow you to add an additional plugin to your shop now the reason why you need this is because it will enable you then to sell products and include the shipping feature if you don't do this basically you'll have difficulties so download that and install it as you've installed previous plugins and once you've done that your screen will look like this and then click the fixed rate option here and it's as simple as that oh, and by the way just when you do that just put in local or international and your rates your posting rates here which is what I've done and that's it oh let's just quickly look at payments and I've just selected PayPal payments here and put in my PayPal details here it's really really very easy to use and with any quality product there are loads of help facilities available when configuring the shop you can see here it's very very easy to do and what we'll do next is look at how we set up categories and products and that's done by clicking on the product button on the left hand panel here so let's do that okay so I've clicked on the products tab here and I've now got the additional tab or features available to me under the products heading and the ones I'm interested in really are categories and it's probably recommended that you set up the categories first to your shop and you can see here that I've put a couple of examples compression wear and cycle jerseys and then once you've done that click on the products so that you can then link your products to the appropriate categories and you can see here I've got a couple of product examples here I'll just click in to show you what I mean and it's just like putting in a post or a page it is very very easy to implement and see here I've just put this under compression wear as a category very very simple indeed now once you've done that you've now got an online shop working in your WordPress environment and congratulations so before we end this video let's just see what the shop looks like even with only a couple of products so we'll click on the main shop site you can see here I've got the product page with the categories shown I've got my cycle jerseys there there's one of the products that I've inserted looks good to me uh, I'm going to add that to cart I'll go to checkout I'll just put in one here because I've ordered two, two previously update yep I'm happy with that looks good to me got my email address in got my details in there it's got the local price for delivery shown up here as we previously configured I can select other countries of course won't worry about that for now yep all looks good to me purchase whoops I need to agree to the terms and conditions which I've set up to, with my main blog page so click on purchase and what should hopefully now happen is it will take me to the PayPal checkout which it has done wonderful so if I now put in my password here it will then register that payment against my PayPal account ready for me to deliver that product to my new customer how easy is that I hope this has been helpful and I hope you're able to install a shop in your WordPress environment and it takes less than a day to do so. Congratulations, you've now got another revenue stream to your online business. My name's Gareth Kentish and thanks again for listening.